Now take a look at the Commercial Breeder Act. It gave the state the resources to regulate puppy mills, that is, until it expired in June. Now the Humane Society of the United States says that's opening the door for out-of-state puppy mills. New haircuts and new kennels for the 95 dogs the Animal Rescue Corps removed from a Gibson County puppy mill Thursday. Man, there's nothing more rewarding than walking into a hellhole like this one. Reaching into that cage, looking at that animal square in the eyes, and, and being the one to promise them that, that they're going to be home for the holidays. Now, instead of being trapped in a cage, these dogs have a chance at a better life. But could the state be doing more to stop puppy mills before they even start? It's just um, really unfortunate that we've lost our state oversight for these commercial kennels here. Leanne Lassiter is the state director of the Humane Society of the United States. The organization is not involved in the Gibson County rescue, but they did have a hand in this puppy mill rescue in Bradley County in June. That's the same month Tennessee's Commercial Breeder Act expired. As soon as that law expired, we know of at least two large-scale operations who moved from Indiana to Tennessee. The law went into effect in 2009. It gave the state the power to regulate and inspect large-scale commercial dog breeding facilities. State lawmakers had to decide whether to renew the law in June. And the Senate Agriculture Committee um, basically failed to continue that state regulation. And Lassiter says that's creating a dangerous situation for thousands of innocent pups. Without some sort of state regulation, without that oversight and annual inspections, puppy mills are going to continue to thrive in this state. <laughs> Now, the Humane Society of the United States says they plan to lobby for new regulations in the next legislative session. Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.